Hello, Bookman here, and this is the Pilot Con 70 converter for the uh, Pilot fountain pens. As advertised, that's how it comes apart at first. This is the first part of the disassembly process. Let me just do that again and show you something. I don't have them with me right now, but you want to take rubber grippers the first time. Something that uh, you can get from Goulet pens, you can get them from Anderson pens, you can probably get them from, from other places. But you want to get something with uh, ribs or dimples on it that'll get a good grip. And you want to put one in each hand. And you're going to put it between your thumb and forefinger and then grip the metal sleeve. And then do the same thing with the tube. And in a forceful but smooth uh, twist, you want to unscrew this. The first time you need those grippers. The second time you won't. But it unscrews. I like to put it, uh, stand it up on the counter in the exact same position it's going to be in when I put it back. It makes it easier to grab and I don't have to look inside to see where the threads are. The next move is to pull the plunger apparatus out and you see this white plastic inside the tube. That's in the top. You want to grab the plunger apparatus as close to that as you can and very carefully pull it out. And then carefully remove the rest of it. There's your tube that the ink fits into. And this is the uh, plunger apparatus. Now, when I clean it, I'm not going to do it now because it's already clean, but I will show you uh, what I do uh, when I clean it. Um, I rinse out that uh, plastic tube thoroughly. It's very easy to rinse out now that you've got everything uh, disassembled. Then I hold this under the water with the plunger up and very carefully I move the plunger up and down without putting pressure on either end. You don't want to push it in too hard. You don't want to pull it out too hard. But this helps get all of the ink that's trapped in there out. You do that under the running water. Then turn the water off because you want to conserve water. And you want to invert this now so that it's right side up, so to speak. And you want to grab the entire thing between your thumb and forefinger so that the plunger is not going to move. And then shake it down like this. Give it one more rinse by pulling the plunger up and down again under the running water. Invert it again. Shake it out. dry it, and you're done. When you're finished cleaning this thing, you want to make sure that the plunger moves on that pendulum freely. Then it goes back into the tube. When you get it up to, when you get the, the white plastic thing up to the opening of the tube, Line it up so that it's uh, flush and it's going straight in. And then just take the handle of the, of the plunger, you know, the twist knob of the plunger uh, mechanism and push. I guess it isn't a twist knob, it's a push knob. But uh, you just push it in. It goes right in. Then you take your metal sleeve that you put on the counter right side up so it's easy to grab and put right on. Push it all the way down to the threads and screw it back on. 
done. Make sure that that make sure that the plunger still moves freely and it does. The pump works and that's it. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.